Morning, everybody. Jason, Hollis Farms. Very early this morning. Hasn't been daylight long. It's getting daylight, it seems like a little later. Oh. First thing I'm gonna do this morning, I am carrying the Titan down to Columbus Nissan to get them serviced and rotate, get it serviced and rotate the tires. A little past due, but not long. I got up pretty early this morning, just kind of piddling around, waiting on time. I'm trying to be the first one in line, that way I can get in and get out. I got a bunch of junk off my dash this morning, just for the fun of it. Spare hats, binoculars, gotta have toilet paper. Kinda like it clean, if I can keep it that way, I can sleep better. Anyway, get this thing all changed, and we'll be back on the road. We got to try to... I'll get done today, but I'm gonna try to finish planting uh, over in Mississippi. If it's dry enough, how much rain we got yesterday, and I have got to, uh, got a couple of batteries. I don't know if I'll get them swapped in the hog traps today or not. Anyway, we're gonna make a day of it. Alright, y'all, got my oil changed, tires rotated. I feel kind of funny since I've got this truck going down there and getting the oil changed. I have never, I don't think I've ever owned a vehicle that I didn't service myself, but it's pretty cheap to do that. And plus, this uh, this truck's got pretty good warranty on it. And uh, up to 100,000 miles or five year, pretty much bumper to bumper. So I've been letting them do it, so we always got records. And, uh, Case something happens, <clears throat> won't be as hard to get something fixed. But anyway, got folk fixing to be 40, it'll be 48, over 48,000 on these tires today. I thought it was a little more than that. Oh, got them rotated again. This may be the last time, I don't know. But uh, I was talking to the guys at the tire place, Bates, the other day. And he said, Man, how many miles you got on that thing and on them tires? He said, That's good. He said, I tell, and I know you go on gravel roads a lot, and we do. And the gravel's rough on them. But, uh, so if we get, I think if we get over 50, we'll be doing really good for what we do. And you know, you pull some trailer or whatever and once in a while and just kind of, and it's loaded all the time too. Always got some minutes. But uh, real happy with the with the tire so far. So, but anyway, running back by the barn, pick up Pete, and we got to go. Uh, I think the first thing I'm gonna do, the loggers are not working this morning got that rain. I'm going to go check everything out and make sure hopefully they can work tomorrow and we're trying to get another logger to move in and uh, hopefully that'll happen pretty quick if it'll stay dry enough. I'm going to put a battery in the hog trap and hopefully I get time to do a little bit of planting today. But we'll see. We're going to have a full day anyway. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is run in here and Swap these batteries and uh, freshen up the corn pile if we need it. That it lasted a pretty good bit last night, but not all of them. We'll just swap that and see how it goes. Right there, but I don't think it's gonna be bad by tomorrow. That sun hits that today, and it's gonna be all right. I think we're gonna be all right. Ride it out and see. I think it's just wet right on top. All right, 
loaded the 7210 in the Great Plains grain drill with the wheat I had left. Got the sacks burning there. Pete's already loaded up. We're gonna go try to finish planting. They do it, man. We got what? Pretty day today. I'll tell y'all what, as this planting starts winding down, I start getting to thinking about going hunting. I very seldom go opening day of Mississippi. I might make it to Alabama because. Let's see. Oh, no, I ain't gonna make Mississippi. Heck, I ain't through planting, it's already open, but uh, I don't know. Sometimes I get to, I just like to get this seed in the ground when the weather's right and we're just so busy. Everything just runs down right there to the last minute. I don't wanna get started and get burned out. We're gonna get to do plenty of hunting and I'm about to get ready. I don't like hunting in the heat no more, even though that early season is some of the best time. Just don't hardly do it anymore. Got some big racing coming up. We'll make sure we get some of that. So we're gonna have plenty of time though. All right, y'all, here we go. It's where we left off yesterday. It's just a little damp, but I think everything's gonna be fine just one pass. If you had to make more than one pass, it'd be a mess, but I think we're going to be okay. Had a little issue with the drill a while ago. It wouldn't engage. It's got all them chains and sprockets and everything, and I had to piddle with it for a minute and got it to lock in. It's got a little deal on that tire outside there that you unlock when you're pulling it down the road, and some reason it wouldn't engage it, but I got it to click in there now. Alright y'all, back to the barn. I am not sure what's going on with this thing. It's got a deal here. It's spring loaded. Right there is where you run it when you're just running down the road, running down the highway. And that right there is engaging it. It's got all these chains and stuff that turn to make it put out seed and I don't know what's going on. I've never worked on this thing. Very little have I ever done anything to this thing, so. I don't know, I'm gonna see if I can figure it out though. Alright, it's get, got this deal right here you can put a wrench on. I'm turn, the wheel's gonna turn this way, so I know this has got to turn this way. And see this thing, see it? I know that's the way it, it locks up and this way. You ain't supposed to go backwards with it. I know that. I'm thinking it's something in this hub. I'm going to pop it off and see. Like I said, I ain't never been into it. But we got to figure something out. All right, all I know to do is get into it. If I uh, don't figure it out. I get somebody down here that knows more about it than I do. It ain't doing no good broke, is it? I'm not sure what I'm fixing to get into. Alright, so this thing has got this spacer that goes on there. And then this pin it's supposed to jump in them grooves right there. I don't see what the problem is. I really don't yet. I don't know why it's clicking when I try to turn it. I'm gonna try to put it get. I'm gonna try to put it back together with the pin in it where I know it's in one of these holes. All right, y'all. So I got her jacked up. And I took this the hub apart. That's not where it's at, cause. It's engaged right now. I'm spinning right there. I'm turning right there. I'm turning all the way out to here. It's in this little clutch deal here for some reason. That's not locking up. I ain't never fooled one of them, but I am fixing to take it apart right here and <clears throat> see if I can make it engage. All right, y'all. So I did. Pete's wore out after all that work. Anyway, he's taking him a nap. 
Oh, I did all I thought I could do to the grain drill. I, I think I figured out where the problem is, but I ain't sure, quite sure what's going on there. But anyway, we've got a mechanic that works on uh, works on our stuff when we need him, so I can give him a call and get him to operate on the grain drill or see what's going on. But anyway, so sometimes I don't mind working on stuff, but sometimes you can't figure it out. It take three days to figure it out. Sometimes it's just best on us to call somebody. Anyway, I am headed back to Alabama to see what we get into there. All right, y'all, we have been four wheeler shopping today. They call this an Ultramatic, bro. A Yamaha Brune Ultramatic. This is a 2000. 12 maybe? What did we say it was? 2008. This is a 2008. Get this thing unloaded and we'll explain why we got it. 2008 Yamaha Broom. Whatever you call it. Gonna be just what we was looking for. Perfect. She's a cream puff. see if we can figure out how to run it. It's an automatic. Whoa! Ain't got no <laughs> Got front brake. Alright, we got front brake only. This is going to be a little project. It can't run good though. Got four wheel drive. Automatic. Smell like a leaking gas. It's on reserve, it must be out. You ain't supposed to leave them on reserve. I wonder if it's out. It's probably out. It's got some in it. Alright, we figured out. It's got an automatic. You gotta mash your foot brake to get it in. Reverse. I really ain't test drove it much. We're fixing to. Alright, got a mash brake. Uh oh. There it goes. You gotta push the button right there. That's for four wheel drive, two wheel drive. Thing seems tiny compared to what we usually ride. It runs good though, it's just we gotta work on the back brakes. All we got is front brakes. Let's get out here and take a look at it real quick. Alright, so we got our Polaris and we have the awfulest time getting it in this trailer. It's too big. So, we had a couple of choices. A brand new Honda Recon or find us a used one. We don't have much space in between the fender wells on these trailers to get it in. So we went and bought us stuff. Yamaha Brune. I think it's a 300. We wanted one that had a little power in case we needed it. We got it now. Thing runs like a purring like a kit. It ain't got no miles on it. We know the guy we got it from. He just used it deer hunting and stuff. I think it's going to be fine. We'll have to work on them back brakes at some point. Still ain't learned how to drive it yet. Uh oh. It is out of gas. That's why it was on reserve. Let's put it on reserve and see if that works. Maybe it ain't blowed up. Well, just needed some gas. Oh, if I keep forgetting, you gotta mash the brake and put it in gear. We're in business now. Alright y'all, so a little bit more on this full whaler. It's a Yamaha Brune or whatever it says, 300. To, what did we say? Is it 2012? Yeah, I believe that's what it is. Anyway, um, 
that trailer I got, it's a 99 s and and it was a Cadillac back in its day, but it's it's got the dual axles under the rear, and they put the ramp overs for a late model to get in, and you got like 46 and a half inches between the fender wells to get your four-wheeler in there. And the other trailer we had, the Intec trailer, I didn't have to have ramp overs or anything. Oh. Uh, for the street stock and all and the Polaris we got would go right in there and then we didn't keep it real long sold it and got this uh, SNS trailer so we have been squeezing it in and out and I mean it's so tight in there it squeezes the tires and the rims rub on the ramp overs and I, I, go, I told Brad I said I'm not hauling it no more we're going to tear the dead young brand new four wheeler up so I didn't want to trade it or anything because I knew I'd lose, and plus I can use that at the farm. Cody rides it, got his big four-wheeler. Anyway, oh, I wasn't going to get a new one. Honda makes a small, they call it a recon, it's like a 250, I think, two-wheel drive. I didn't want a two-wheel drive. And all the four-wheelers these days have gotten so big, so we got to looking around and kind of figured out what would go in there. I didn't even think about a Yamaha, I've never owned a Yamaha. Oh, looking for a Honda, I think the, an old, uh, older foreman or rancher maybe would go in there, but anyway, we found this one, and this is a guy that I've been knowing for years, and he's got that one, and has bought a new one, and was selling his old, bought one just like it, so I thought if he's going to buy another just like it, it's bound to be pretty good, but anyway, it's really narrow, needs back brakes, and other than that's about it, I mean, it's used, and that's fine with me, it didn't matter, it's going to go in and out of the trailer nice and be perfect so that was the deal on the on the four wheeler i didn't want to get one but that thing it'll just pretty much stay in the trailer all the time be easy to get in and get out i mean most of these four wheelers these days have gotten too big anyway but anyway daddy told me he went down there and he, he had had an issue with the drill like that before and thought that he knew just what it was well, he called me a little bit ago and said that wasn't it either so we're not sure what's going on with the drill, but anyway, we're going to get somebody to look at it that's smarter than us and figure out what's going on. It just won't engage. We ain't quite, ain't quite figured it out yet, but we are working on it. All in all, not a bad day. Things are going to happen. It's still, I mean, it's not early by no means, but we'll get it done. Now, probably tomorrow, I need to go down and check on the loggers and try to start back tomorrow. I think it's going to be dry enough and, uh, They'll probably come back and start planting here in Alabama. And in the meantime, waiting on the other drill to get finished because it won't get fixed because it won't take as long to, to finish down there in Mississippi once we get uh, the drill fixed. But anyway, I'm about to call it a day here when I get to the house. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.